సో హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ నేను వినపజన్స్ అంటే సో టుడే ఐమ్ గోట్ ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్ దట్ ఈస్ ద లెవెన్ స్టాండర్డ్ ఫిజిక్స్ ఫోర్త్ చాప్టర్ వర్క్ ఎనర్జీ అండ్ పవర్ సో లెట్ ఎస్ నో అబౌట్ ద వర్క్ సో వర్క్ ఈజ్ సెట్ టు బిట్ డన్ విన్ ఎ ఫోర్త్ సెపరేట్ ఆన్ ద బాడీ డిస్ప్లేసెస్ ద బాడీ త్రూ ఏ సర్టెన్ డిస్టెన్స్ ఇన్ ద డైరెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్స్ ఇన్ ద సేమ్ డైరెక్షన్ వేర్ ద ఫోర్స్ ఇస్ అట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద డిస్ప్లేస్ డిస్ప్లేస్ ఇట్ దట్ ఈస్ కాల్ ఎస్ వర్క్ అండ్ work done by a constant force so let a constant force f be applied on the body such that it makes an angle that is theta so w is equal to f cos theta s is equal to w f s cos theta so therefore w is equal to f into s so positive and negative work let us know so positive work done so positive work means the force is parallel to displacement and negative work is the in which the force is the force we apply it is పర్ప అపోజిట్ టు ద డిస్ప్లేస్మెంట్ సో ద ఫోర్స్ ఇస్ అపోజిట్ టు ద డిస్ప్లేస్మెంట్ దెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద నెగటివ్ ఫోర్స్ ఇఫ్ ద ఫోర్స్ ఇస్ ప్యారలల్ టు ద డిస్ప్లేస్మెంట్ దెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద పాజిటివ్ వర్క్ అండ్ వర్క్ డన్ బై ఏ వేరియబుల్ ఫోర్స్ సో వర్క్ డన్ బై వేరియబుల్ ఫోర్స్ ఇన్ మ్యాగ్నిట్యూడ్ అండ్ డైరెక్షన్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫోర్స్ వేరీస్ ఇట్ పొజిషన్ ద వర్క్ డన్ బై సచ్ ఎ ఫోర్స్ ఫార్ అన్ ఇన్ఫినిట్ స్మాల్ this in similar displacement is given by dw is equal to f into ds so variables and work uh, next energy so the energy of the body is defined as its capacity for doing work so the energy of the body we can say that uh, the uh, its capacity and unit is joule so therefore 1 joule is equal to 10 to the power 7 ear and uh, 1 ev 1 kilowatt is equal to 3.6 into the power 6 joule and 1 kilo 3 is equal to 4.18 joule next kinetic energy the energy possessed by a body is virtue to its motion is called as the kinetic energy that is equal to its motion the energy that is possessed is equal to its motion is called as the kinetic energy and the formula for it is k is equal to 1 by 2 mv square and kinetic energy depends on the frame of reference the kinetic energy of a person mass of a person of mass m sitting in a moving train with moving with a train with a speed of v and is zero of frame of train but 1 by 2 mv squared in the frame of the earth so this is uh, this will be the formula only and various graphs of kinetic energy so it can be written like this the four graphs you can see like this it can be written as different various graphs the one may be the distance and other may be the uh, mass distance or speed there may be change or some place change may be there next potential energy potential energy is defined only for conservative force so in the space occupied by conservative force every point uh, is associated with certain energy which is called as the energy of position so every point has some energy that is called as the energy of position or potential energy so change in potential energy so change in potential energy between any two points is defined in the terms of work done by the force in displacing the particle between the two points which is without any change in the kinetic energy and types uh, next is stable unstable and neutral so when a part or uh, the position how we uh, the first it was the way it was and initial projection it means and when a particle is displaced slightly from the position and then a force acting on it tries to displace the particle further away from the equilibrium position it uh, unstable means it will make the, the particle move away from it so when a particle is slightly displaced from a position then it uh, does not experience any force acting on it and continues to be in equilibrium in displacement so there will be no force acting on it for it is the neutral neutral so in stable the potential energy will be minimum in unstable the potential energy will be maximum and neutral there will be no potential energy means potential energy will be there but it will be in constant level next elastic potential and so restoring force and spring constant so when a spring is stretched or compressed from the normal position by a distance x a restoring force is produced the spring 
to bring it to the a force is may uh, happen uh, to bring it to the normal position as you know when you ba- uh, pull the band that time there will be a force that will be pulling it to complete its back position uh this original question so according to oops law the restoring force is proportional to the displacement that it takes and its direction is always opposite to the displacement so the restoring force is prop- will be proportional to the distance uh, displacement and uh, the direction is always it will be opposite to the displacement the direction always next expression of elastic potential energy so elastic potential energy u is equal to 1 by 2 k x square is equal to 1 by 2 fx is equal to s square by 2k next law of conservation of mass so law of conservation of mass for an isolated system or body their constant means it will be there only uh, no use or uh, sometimes it may no, no use happens next power so now you will learn about the work and the energy the capacity of the body to do the work is the energy so now, now power so power a, of the body defined as the rate at which the body can do the work so the rate at which a body can do its work the work you want to it is uh, at which rate is the body can do that work is called as the power and that is denoted by w by t delta w by delta t is equal to w by t work done by time taken so instantaneous power is equal to f into ds by dt that is uh dw work uh, by work done by time taken and power is equal to the scalar product of force with velocity so power will be equal to the force and velocity the scalar products of force and velocity the power will be equal and it is the unit of power is watt and joule as you all know dimension is m and uh, 2 t minus 3 next collision so collision is an isolated event in which a strong force acts between two or more bodies for a short time so it is an strong force that acts between two or more bodies two or more bodies the force acts for a short time for a short time between two and more bodies it acts is called as the collision and the collision particle may or may not come in real touch it may not come and types of collision is on the basis of conservation of kinetic energy perfect elastic uh, collision in elastic collision perfect in elastic collision so in a collision kinetic energy after collision is equal to the kinetic energy before collision so the collision is said to be perfect elastic if in a collision kinetic energy after collision is not equal to the kinetic energy before the collision then it is in elastic collision the after the collision what to energy we get that is not equal to the energy that was before the uh, uh, collision then we can say it as in elastic collision and perfectly in elastic collision is if an collision of two bodies stick together or move with a velocity after the collision the colli- so if two bodies stick together or move in the same velocity after the collision then it is called as perfectly inelastic collision next so after that kinetic energy transfer during the heat of elastic collision so fraction decreases in kinetic energy so delta k by k is equal to 4 m1 by m2 by m1 minus m2 plus 4 m1 by m2 next motion in vertical circle so this is an example for non uniform circular motion so motion in a vertical circle here you can see next here they have given the uh, some sort various quantities for a critical conditions in a vertical loop at different position so you can uh, by edit so short answers so let us see the some uh, the questions they have given so see us how i must a body be lifted to gain an amount of potential energy equal to the kinetic energy and it has when moving uh, at speed 20 meter second so p and k are the potential energy and kinetic energy as all know so so for that
so this formula is as you know 1 to mv square so therefore h is equal to 20.4 meters so you will get the answer next so next in the uh, 30 second question they are asking so yeah, these are the small questions and here yeah, in 27 question you can see a ball at rest is dropped from an height of 12 meter and it loses 25 percent of its kinetic energy in sticking the ground let us find the height to which it bounces and how do you uh, how do you account for the loss of its kinetic energy so let us see the answer mgh is equal to 75 percent the ball uh, ball bounces uh, to height h then mgh is equal to 75 percent of mgh so h is equal to 0 0.7 uh, 75h so therefore it is equal to 9 meter it will be bounced then a car of mass 200 kg is lifted up amount of fuel what is the power supplied by each crane neglect power deception against the friction power deception let us neglect so for time 1 minute it holds 6, 1 minute it has 60 seconds and 2 minutes 120 seconds so therefore w is equal to mgs is equal to 5.88 into 10 to the power 5 uh, joule so therefore pg is equal to w by t that is work done by time taken so therefore uh, 9800 watt and 4900 watt is the supply for the power supply by the crane, each crane is 9800 and 4800 watt. Next, here see 36 question. So 20 J joule work is required to stretch a spring through 0 0.1 meter. Let us find the force constant of the spring and if the spring is further stretched through 0 0.1 meter, let us calculate the work done. So first potential energy of the spring when stretching through a distance is 0 0.1 meter so therefore u is equal to work done is equal to 1 by 2 k x square so therefore it will be 20 joule total work done is equal to total 80 minus 20 so therefore it will be 60 joule is the work so this is the total answer next Next, a pump on the ground floor of a building can pump up water to fill a tank of volume 30 meter cube in 15 minutes. If the tank is 40 meter above the ground, how much electric power is consumed by the pump and the efficiency of the pump is 30 percent? The efficiency of the pump is 30 percent, so 30 percent of power is equal to W by T, so therefore it is equal to MGH by T, so therefore it is equal to VPG, so 30 by 100 into P, therefore it will be 43.6 kilowatt of power will be consumed. Next, uh, let us come to the numerical question, so 46th question, so water is pumped out of a well 10 meter deep by means of pump rated 10 kilowatts and let us find the efficiency of the motor is for if 4200 kg of water is pumped out every minute this much of 200 4200 kg water is pumped out liter is and let us take g is equal to 10 meter second 10 meter second so input of power is 10 kilowatt as you know and output of power is equal to w t is equal to mgh by t so therefore it will be 7 kilowatt so therefore efficiency will be 10 by 7 so therefore 10, uh, 10 0 0 gets cancelled and by 7 so therefore the efficiency when you get cancelled so therefore the total will be the answer will be the 70 percent will be the total efficiency of the water next let's see next question so here they have given 1 2 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 numericals so let us solve the 6 numericals and in that uh, we have solved the 1 numericals Next uh, year also one numerical second. So a railway carriage of mass 9000 kg moving with a speed of 36 km hour collides with a stationary carriage of the same mass. After its collision, the carriages gets coupled and move together. After the coupling, it moves together. What is their common speed after collision and what is the what type of collision is this? What type of collision? So different types of collision that I said in that what type of collision it is. So as I said, the three types of collision that is perfect uh, inelastic and elastic collision. So therefore, so 
सो एम वन इज इक्वल टू नाइन थाउजेंड के जी एंड एम टू इज इक्वल टू नाइन थाउजेंड के जी यू इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स किलोमीटर एंड टेन मीटर सेकेंड एंड इयर यू टू एंड वी टू वी डोंट नो सो लेट एस सो एम वन एंड यू वन प्लस एम टू यू टू इज इक्वल टू एम वन प्लस एम टू वी सो देर फॉर वी विल बी फाइव मीटर सेकेंड एम वन एंड एम टू सो देर फॉर यू विल बी द फाइव मीटर सेकेंड एंड And total kinetic energy is equal to one m one u one two plus one m two u one u two two. So therefore, when we add these two, so we will get forty five thousand joule. So this is the total kinetic energy. And total kinetic energy after collision, before collision, forty five thousand joule. After collision, if we calculate, so it will be twenty two. So two lakh twenty five thousand joule. So therefore. The total kinetic energy after collision is greater than the total kinetic energy before the collision. So collision is inelastic. So there is not equal. So if the first and the second were uh, first uh, before the collision and after the collision both are so equal, then we call it as perfect collision. But the, uh, here it is not equal. Then we call it as inelastic collision. Next. If a bullet of mass 0.02 kg is moving with a speed of 10 meter second and it is penetrated 10 centimeter of a wood block and comes to rest, this uh, thickness of the target would be. For x is equal to 10 centimeter, so 0 is equal to 0.1 meter. So therefore, f is equal to 1 by 2 mv1. So therefore, 1 by 2. So f is equal to 10. So therefore, 10 uh, newton and f 6 centimeter. So therefore, 1 minus 10 into 0.6 newton. So therefore, 0.4 joule is the answer. Next, let us take a truck of mass 1000 kg accelerate uniformly from the rest of the velocity of 15 meter second in 5 second. 15 meter in 5 second. Then let us calculate its acceleration. It gain uh, in uh, gain in kinetic energy average power of the engine during this period. During this period, the average power uh, power. Let us calculate. So therefore, let us calculate it. So therefore, we get is the So 50 second position. So therefore, a is equal to v minus u by t. So therefore, it is equal to 3 seconds gain of electric uh, kinetic energy is equal to 1 by 2 m v square minus u square. So therefore, this is equal to 1.125 uh, newton to the power 5 joule. So therefore, power is equal to w by t. That is equal to 22,500 watt. Is the answer we get. Next question. Next. Then 800 kg and that is elevator plus passengers. The weight is both. Elevator also has some weight as you know, and then the passenger weight totally is moving at the speed of two meters second. And it has friction for force opposing the motion is 4000 newton. So what? How much elevator in watts as well as horsepower? How much it is? So let us see. So after that, let us see. Downward force of the elevator x is equal to mg plus f is equal to 222,000 newton. It will be and also uh, power supplied by the motor to balance this force will be uh, for 44,000 watt. P is equal to f into v and 44,000 by 746 is equal to 59 horsepower. It will be the horsepower. 746 is the horsepower uh, number uh, formula uh, or the digits we get uh, and. That we divide with the watt, we will get the horsepower. We will get. Friends, this was your numericals, and uh, remember numericals also they may ask in your final exam and sometimes and also they may ask the questions that are uh, questions from this chapter also. And uh, numericals main they will ask in physics, so practice the numericals, formulas, horsepower, watt, how to find the formula, formulas, and. I try to understand the question first. I think there are more questions I did not solve, so you you only try to solve and uh, try to answer, uh, understand the question and uh, try to solve the question by and remember practice the for formula and uh, some. Okay, friends. I think you understand the numericals 
and work power energy chapter also next to do explain is another chapter of your current standard physics that is the next chapter is the rotational motion so okay friends bye to the current minutes that is the data have a nice day bye my dear friends